Hello friends. Welcome to my new JPA, Hibernate Programming Tutorial Series video. In this series, we will discuss about, how JPA and Hibernate helps us to achieve persistence in a Java application. Let's move ahead. Today, we will discuss, how to create persistence.xml in Hibernate using JPA. Friends. Let's discuss what is persistence.xml file in JPA. The persistence.xml file is a standard configuration file in JPA. It has to be included in the meta inf directory, inside the jar file that contains the entities. This file configures which database it is supposed to save, update, query and deletes the entity objects. This file has configuration for the cache. It improves performance by implementing cache framework. This file has configuration for the object to relational mapping. Moving ahead. Let's see what goes into persistence.xml file in JPA. The diagram depicts a preview for a simple persistence.xml file in JPA. Let's discuss it point by point. It has a root tag by name persistence. This tag has one or more persistence units definition. Number 1, persistence tag has a child tag by name persistence unit. Persistence unit tag describes the configuration for the entity managers created by the entity manager factory. This tag has attributes as, name and transaction type. The name takes in a name of the persistence unit. Here, persistence unit name is person pu. This name has to be unique across the application. Here, persistence unit name has been used by entity manager factory to create instances of entity manager. Moving ahead. Number 2, the transaction type attribute holds two values as, JTA, and resource local. JTA value is used in a Java EE environment. Resource local value corresponds to a Java SE environment. Here, we have created the persistence unit, into a simple Java SE application, by providing value as resource local. Moving ahead. Number 3, persistence unit has an element as provider. This element has a fully qualified class name for the JPA provider. In our case, we are using provider as hibernate, and class name as, org.hibernate.ejb.hibernate persistence. Moving ahead. Let's discuss various properties which is vendor specific. These properties are name and value pairs. Number 4, in persistence.xml, we have to provide the driver class entry for a particular database. It takes in a property by name as, hibernate.connection.driver underscore class and value in our case points to hsqldb as, org.hsqldb.jdbc driver. It tells Hibernate to point HSQL database and use its driver for creating a connection to database. Moving ahead. Number 5, in persistence.xml, we have to provide the URL to HSQL database server. It takes in a property by name as, hibernate.connection.url and value as, jdbc colon hsqldb colon hsql colon slash slash localhost colon 9001. It tells Hibernate to point HSQL database server at the mentioned URL and port. Moving ahead. Number 6, in persistence.xml, we have to provide the username to HSQL database server. It takes in a property by name as, hibernate.connection.username and value as, SA. It tells Hibernate to point HSQL database server which has a username as SA. Moving ahead. Number 7, in persistence.xml, we have to provide the password to HSQL database server for a particular username. It takes in a property by name as, hibernate.connection.password and value in our case as, empty string. It tells hibernate to point HSQL database server which has a password with the mentioned value. Moving ahead. Number 8, in persistence.xml, we have to provide the dialect to HSQL database. It takes in a property by name as, hibernate.dialect and value in our case as fully qualified class name to HSQLDB as, org.hibernate.dialect.hsqldialect. 
it configures a way by which Hibernate can talk to underlying database. It provides a way by which Hibernate can communicate to underlying database for implementing object to relational mapping. So friends, this was the tutorial on how to create persistence.xml in Hibernate using JPA. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, persistence.xml concept in JPA gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.